we are now going to look at some of the hardware that can be used to connect a network to the internet. So we're going to start off with our terminal. Now our terminal could be connected via a hub to other terminals. Okay? Using a hub, data can be sent between three different or more different workstations. By doing it this way, the data is sent, but it's sent to all locations on the network. So workstations 1, 2 and 3 will receive whatever data is being sent between terminals 1 and 2 and 1 and 3. Better than a hub is a switch. Now, switches can be used to connect hubs, they can connect routers, they can connect printers. Basically, switches are a smart hub. And by saying that they're smart, in that unlike the hub, they can send data to a specific location. So this switch could also be connected to a server, and that's how all the other workstations are saving their files to a large server, which can be accessed by the entire network. The switch can also connect another hub that is connecting workstations 4 and 5 together. The other thing that can be connected to a switch is a router. Now, whereas a switch is connecting all data on a network, routers allow for workstations to connect to other devices on other networks via the internet. So we all usually have routers set up at our home to allow us internet access, but they can also be used to connect to other local area networks. Now, they can also be used bridges and gateways. They can be used to connect data to similar networks or different networks, okay, depending on who you're trying to connect with. But basically, that's just a quick overview on some of the hardware used to connect networks together.